Hey, what's up, fellas? It's the Prop Collector. Excited about this review, this new uh, Turtle uh, Mutant Mayhem from uh, the, the new movie coming up. And um, very, very colorful, the box. Catches your eye on the shelf. They're hitting stores now, so I'm sure that you guys will be able to find them. We'll compare them with the other uh, previous TMNT vans. I'm pretty much up to date on the vans. TMNT is my favorite line, so I try to, I try to stock up when I can. I know also it's going to catch uh, uh, the attention of, of customizers. Um, like the, there's a lot of guys that, that turn the Carl Kawabunga van into, for example, um, a Punisher van, Deadpool. They also used it to, to customize and do a April news van. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see the potential and uh, take it from there. We'll also compare it with the other vans and, uh, We'll see how they scale with this one, and we'll see what figures fit in fit in this van and which ones don't. All right, so let's open it and uh, see what's going on with this. Cool, this is out of the box, and uh, everything comes in in little bags, and I'm gonna open them. I just wanted to show, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like as soon as uh, it's out of the box. You'll have uh, your stickers or decals, and they look pretty pretty neat, pretty awesome. I'm sure. Well. Uh, I got two, so I'm going to stock one up and then leave one on the side because I'm pretty sure I'm going to want to customize it. But this is what it looks like. And, uh, man, so far I, I do love it. I really like it a lot. So I'm going to take everything out of the bags and uh, show you guys once again once everything is, is all out. I'll be right back. So I'm not going to assemble it uh, on camera. It's just going to take too long. Uh, but uh, we will go over the parts and the stickers and the instructions, the assembly, because it, it's very simple. It's uh, basically just uh, you snap on parts, as you can see. So it's going to be very simple. This is going to take about maybe five minutes or less. Um, well, probably about five minutes uh, around there because you need to put the... Well, if you want, you need to put these stickers on the, like on the pizza like the pepperonis and then the stickers here for these these pizzas but it's it's not hard at all and it does have um it doesn't come with the batteries as i'm just kind of glancing trying to read very quickly uh you know where you would put the batteries as i think it does make some type of noise but we'll check that out here in just a just a minute but uh here's the rack that you snap on top of the van. I just wanted to show you uh, very quickly once everything is out. The tires. It says uh, turtle power. And it's kind of hard to tell, but there it is. I really like these uh, stickers. They look pretty cool see all the pizzas and the windshield the lights tail lights and stuff so it's pretty cool okay before I assemble everything and put the stickers on and everything I do want to go over the van quickly just the 360 and um, man I this has so much potential it looks really cool And out of the box, they, it, it does have some a couple of stickers already on them. Just got to put the rest. And just very quickly, this is one of my favorite parts. So the back of the van, you're able to open it. And it does have space. And more, and it'll have more if you remove the pizza launcher. We'll see that shortly. But here it is. So quickly, um, you know, you press this, and the door opens with the launcher. How cool is that? So you're removing for customizers. Once you remove this, you'll have a lot of space. 
And then the last part that you can open is the front. So it is, you do have a lot of space. It's uh, almost complete. The snapping on the parts is very quick. It doesn't take long, just a couple of minutes. Um, what takes longer is the stickers. So I didn't finish uh, putting all the stickers on them um, because I want to be able to interchange uh, the stickers on the window, on the windows. So what I mean is, so for example, these right here, that they would go on the sides on the back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go online and uh, Google uh, images and uh, print them. And I'm going, I haven't. I, I kept them in the sheet because I want to be able to compare sizes and, and size them up and so I can have interchangeable uh, stickers or decals for the windows. And I didn't place or uh, snap the pizza because I don't know if I want to keep it on the top. Um, so this you would just snap the pizza in a place and this is what shoots the pizza thrower. But you don't need it because you can press it and it's gonna pop right out. So, oh, talking about the pizza thrower. So you do need uh, three AA batteries. So you, I'll show it quickly. So there it is. So you open that little compartment and that's where you would put in the, the batteries. So unfortunately I don't have any batteries. So I won't be able to show you, show you all that feature, but you just load these pizzas and you turn the switch on and off right here you load it you press this and you shoot the pizzas very little fun little gimmick but I don't have any batteries so I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like with the majority of of the stickers Like I mentioned, I'm going to print some images online so I can have interchangeable stickers for the windows. A lot of space. It's a very, very cool, cool little van. I like the rack. So there it is, very simple to put together, very easy, and um, I don't know, I, I think I'm going to leave it without the pizza. Again, this goes on top, like this. So now before we get into the figures that you're able to fit in here, we'll uh, get some vans to compare it with. And then we'll jump into the figures that you are able to sit in here. There it is. Okay, so I'll do these in no order specifically. Just a quick comparison. And they're too big. I wish I would, you know, I wish I'd had the ability to do a 360. Uh, both of them at the same time. But they're just too big. So I'll just do it very quickly. Um, but this is what it looks like next to the 2002-2003 um, battle, battle shell. Here it is, uh, next to the 2014, I believe, 2014 um, party wagon. This is a pretty cool party wagon. I think it's probably like my third favorite. Here the uh, 2007 Carl uh, Kawabunga uh, van uh, from the movie, TMNT movie, and I believe it was uh, 2007. And this is the one that gets uh, customized a whole bunch.
And here the original. I'm the second owner of this original. It was my cousin's and I bought it off of him. And I got the accessories in here. But just for to, sometimes they fall off and just keep them there inside. And here the uh, 2013, I believe, to maybe 2014 TMNT um, assault van. This one's pretty neat as well. All right, we'll just go over a few figures. Uh, these uh, NECA TMNT do fit in here. And they don't have a lot of space, but uh, you can make it work. There it is. That's and here's some uh, regular uh, six inch Marvel Legends. These also fit, and because they don't have um, they don't have the shell on the back, it's they fit a little more comfortable, uh, and you can still make it work. There it is. So I think uh, so far, so good. I'm pretty sure customizers are going to have a blast with this van. And here, uh, the classified line, G.I. Joe's. I got a G.I. Joe and a Cobra. A Cobra officer. But like I said, they have no shell, so they fit a little better. There it is. Awesome, awesome van. Pretty, pretty cool. So for the pizza thrower, we'll see if we can fit a NECA figure in here. And so it's a, it's a pretty tight space. So I have Mikey kind of ready. So he won't, he won't fit if you just try to slide him in. So what you have to do, because it's uh, soft plastic, or I should say it's like kind of bendable, uh, it won't break. So you can slide this back and you can now slide in your your figure in here so it's going to be a little tight but uh you'll be able to sit them in here there he is and he won't go all the way down i mean he might if you pull the seat back and it doesn't feel like it's going to break but obviously the shell the shell gets on the way but I think this is this is the lowest it'll probably go. See, he, he won't be able to go all the way down because of the shell. But you can you'll be able to get good uh, good pictures, good good pictures with the right angle. Actually, he's down a little more. There he is. Check this out. Just tried a little, I just kind of pulled the seat. Just be careful. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break. You can bend it pretty far back. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. Uh, I like it, it's very spacious. You can customize it, a lot of potential. Um, as you saw in the video, it's great for six inch figures. So I know customizers are going to have a blast with this van. Uh, stop by if you can. I'm on IG, The Prop Collector. Thanks for the subs, the comments, and the likes. I hope this video was helpful. Keep collecting. Peace out.